Okay, now we are going to check the controller to make sure that it is ready. So we just plug this guy in here. Okay, then this cord is going to plug in to my laptop. USB into the laptop. So when the USB cable is plugged into the laptop and the laptop powered up, then the green light on the controller will start blinking like that, meaning you are connected and ready to configure. Alrighty, so over here, you can see Alltrex toolkit. So these batteries are rated at um, just under uh, 400 amps. I think they're 300 and uh, something um, for max discharge rate. And if I understand ye correctly, we want the max motoring armature amps and the max motoring battery amps to be lower than that max discharge rate. Um, which makes sense because if I'm going to hammer the throttle, I don't want the controller to try to draw more power from the con uh, batteries um, than they're capable of providing. I'm going to turn down the reverse motor because that's a little too fast. So I'm going to drop that to 25%. Uh, saved uh, saved a file now very important with all tracks controllers is you have to click the set so it sets the controller to these new settings so we're going to do set And then see at the bottom it says settings set to the controller. So we are ready to go. Fingers crossed. Hey, Dorothy, I think I need to mess with the uh, throttle curve. But pretty good. So after considerable tinkering with these settings, uh, this is what I came up with as the final setting for this cart. Uh, so KSI on voltage 24, under voltage 38, over voltage 62. Use with BMS. I'm leaving that unchecked because uh, these batteries from Big Battery have their own BMS system built in. So I'm leaving that unchecked. Uh, user inputs is the defaulted dual switch. I don't have either of those other switches that go with this controller. So max motoring armature amps is 200. Max motoring battery amps is 200. Max regen armature amps is 40. Max regen battery amps is 40. Plug breaking current is 250.1. And these were the more tricky settings. So under forward speed, I had to tinker with that, and 80% puts me at about 26 miles per hour top speed. Uh, max reverse motor is at 30. Um, that seemed about right. 35 was too high. 25 was too low. I put it there. It was great. Uh, the throttle rate I also had to tinker with because that's kind of how hard it hits when you take off. And 9.5% seems to be just about perfect. So we're just going to close out all tracks. And then we're going to remove the cord. And then we're going to come back here and unplug this. And then we'll take the um, plug. Make sure we go the right way around here. Little curvy part to the top. There we go. Now you get it pushed in there. Then we're going to grab the cover. We'll slip this in here. Screw these in. Get the cord out of here. And now we'll get these screws put in here. Probably without stripping them. Okay. 
and voila.